What makes you, you? You're the physical you combined with the millions of random and intentional experiences you've accumulated. Likewise, a successful new venture is the many random and designed elements that have come together to define it. So if we rewind its life story, what would we see? We'd witness the venture dissolving into early ideas and aspirations. We'd witness the diverse places, events or situations that spontaneously brought the founding team members and early supporters together. Without these, the venture would not have come to be, just as we would not exist if our parents never met. Such pivotal milestones need a dedicated space within the startup ecosystem, where scattered ideas can collide and transform into innovative and viable venture concepts ready for later phase support systems such as business incubators and accelerators. But how can we organize such early phase support systems? Current knowledge is limited in informing their design. Well, we propose four organizing principles. Firstly, there should be openness at the support system boundaries. This allows entry to prospective entrepreneurs with diverse ideas, perceptions, skills, knowledge, experience and abilities. Second, to avoid being overwhelming, the open space should be carefully moderated to enable some communities of interest to form and self-select. For example, announcing an event centered on food entrepreneurship would attract a chef, a food scientist or an industrial designer, while filtering out those who are not sufficiently interested. Third, for interactions and collaborations to form, entrepreneurs need visibility for their ideas. If early trust is established, open and free sharing of ideas thrives. A chef with minimal social ties entering the support system is naturally attracted towards a food scientist's ideas on food preservation, inspiring a fruitful collaboration. The final piece of the puzzle is about fostering high-quality interactions between prospective entrepreneurs. We call this connectivity and we can boost it in two ways. Firstly, we must lower the barriers which initially prevent entrepreneurs from making new connections between seemingly unconnected concepts and ideas. Secondly, we must moderate power asymmetries, which prevent people from freely interacting, boosting the quantity and quality of ideas within the collective. From startup cafes to innovation boot camps, hackathons and new venture creation courses, these four organizing principles can nurture and inspire the emergence of today's entrepreneurial opportunities, which could become the world-changing companies of tomorrow.